Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it is Monday, and you know that means it's time for Warfronts. This week on Warfronts, we are featuring my level 36 rogue. He is bard spec as always. This is the Codex, but frankly, none of that matters. The gameplay on your screen is simply a backdrop for the celebration of Warfronts, episode 50. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a very special episode of Warfronts. And when I say very special episode, I don't mean that someone's going to get their period for the first time or learn about homosexuals or AIDS or learn a life lesson or anything like that. No, it is going to be sort of a retrospective look back at the life of the series, where it's been, where it's come from, and where it might go in the future. So let's begin at the beginning. Episode Zero, the pilot episode of Warfronts. This is over a year now that Warfronts has been in production. We have missed a few weeks here and there, so episode 52 will not be a year of Warfronts, though that will be 52 weeks of Warfronts, which will be a year's worth of show. So the show's been in production longer than a year, but episode 52 will mean that we have a year's worth of Warfronts. So as we approach the decks, let's talk about how I approached this show. Some of you will know that my original inspiration was Day 9. If you don't know who Day 9 is, he is a StarCraft 2 player, was a bit of a big deal in StarCraft 1. He won a tournament or two, but he has taken it upon himself to teach others that gloriously frustrating game. So what he does is a daily show called the Day 9 Daily, and every Tuesday he has Newbie Tuesday. And on that day, he endeavors to teach new players how to better play the game. Well, I took that idea and I said, you know, what if the guy who was teaching wasn't an expert, but was actually the student, and he was teaching through the example of his own learning? And that's how the show actually got started. I thought that I would try to learn uh, how to play the game. I would do what I could to actually try to get in a position to become a better player and that I would share that with you guys in the hopes that we could all grow together. And I think so far from what I hear from feedback from you guys, I think that that has worked to a certain extent. And I'm really, really happy that the show has ended up actually kind of working out like I planned. So that's actually kind of an amazing thing. So early on, I sort of struggled with the format, who I was, my voice as a commentator. But um, in the end, I do think that I've found a nice formula here. You will know that Warfronts has gone through some different permutations. Originally, the show had uh, a intro of about two to three minutes, which featured a snarky wall of text talking back to me uh, in a very smart-ass sort of way. And I really liked that, and I thought it set me apart. It gave me something different. But as my production schedule and my time really tightened, it meant that I could no longer put the time in to actually get that sort of an episode out. So when I was doing Warfronts early on, I got through 10 or 12 episodes and TGN came to my attention and they were recruiting at the time for Rift directors. And so I submitted myself and originally I was overlooked. I think the story went that the guy who was actually doing the recruiting in charge of the recruiting left TGN. So, you know, all the information that I sent to him uh, ended up being for naught. But I went ahead and just joined their ranks through their uh, sort of apprenticeship program, their idol program, if you will, and was quickly noticed and e elevated, especially when there was no one left on TGN's Rift channel. Uh, I was quickly put into place as the uh, main caretaker of that channel. To that end, I put out a weekly episode of Warfronts and occasional other videos. Most of the people who are watching this probably found me because of TGN Rift, and that's really, really cool. So I did maybe 30 episodes on TGN Rift before moving back here. Basically, TGN decided to do a reorganization. They decided to shut down some more of their less productive channels, and TGN Rift was one of those channels. When I reflect on my time at TGN, the coolest thing I have to say, besides all of the viewers that I gained from the exposure that TGN allowed me, was the fact that I did get a little bit of compensation for doing those videos. Ad rolls before, after, and during the video meant that I could make a little bit of money. And while it was not a significant amount, and I'm not really supposed to talk about specifics, uh, I can say that it was basically enough to pay for my Rift subscription 
for the months that I was with TGN. So that was really, really cool. It was essentially like I was being compensated to play this game on the internet. And that's sort of a dream for a lot of people. Uh, I don't know that it's really a dream for me, but uh, it was really, really cool. And it meant that uh, playing this game was a no-brainer. I didn't have to think about that monetary cost that was coming out of my budget. I just had to play the game and enjoy it. And I really liked my time with TGN. I did a lot of work on their main channel as well. I did a oh, 23, 24 part let's play of uh, Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine that seemed to get a lot of attention. I did some indie videos over there. I got the attention of the higher ups at TGN. They had me in talks to do some other shows for TGN and other stuff like that. But as the company began to change, uh, I just really wasn't interested in continuing forward with them. And eventually we parted ways, uh, no hard feelings. They went off and did their own thing, more centered on uh, very profitable games, I suppose. Um, essentially, I didn't feel that I had a place there, uh, if, you want, if I want to be totally honest. Uh, when their focus was on the newest, hottest game, and I was trying to provide uh, in-depth and thought-provoking independent game coverage, it really didn't seem like I was a needed part of their infrastructure. So uh, I went ahead and uh, vacated the premises, and I've been very happy here and on my other channel, Big Dave is Cheap, for the last, oh, three or four or six months. I can't remember how long it's been. But uh, it, it's been a wonderful experience just doing these videos in general. So after leaving TGN, I came back here, I streamlined the production of the show, and I kept on going. And it seemed that I was gaining a couple or three subscribers uh, every day or, you know, three or four a week or, or whatever. And, uh, you know, we've settled in sort of in the in the mid 300s for subscriber base. That's really cool. I get, a, you know, 100 to 200 v views on each individual video. Again, that's really cool. I'm out there and I'm trying to become a part of the Rift community and continue to be a part of the Rift community. And I think that that is a, uh, it's an admirable goal if I may, if I may puff myself up a little bit uh, to try to be sort of a video voice out there, uh, especially for the unskilled PVP player, because there's a lot of us. There are a lot of us out there. And while I've gotten a lot better at PVP, I am by no means an expert. So I continue to try to grow with this show. I continue to try to take it forward. And uh, that does bring me to a little bit of talk of the future. I don't really know what I can improve about this show. And I would really love for you guys to give me any feedback that you might feel compelled to give. So right now the show basically is I play three or four games of, of Warfronts, depending on the character, usually my bard or my mage. And I pick the best game or, or the game with the best opportunity for learning. I show that to you guys. I critique my performance and I try to learn. And we've had a very interesting interactive experience, you, the audience, and myself, where you guys have helped me. You've suggested rotations. You've suggested things that I should do. And I've really, really, really been grateful. And it has indeed helped me a whole lot to the point where uh, I am doing much better on my mage now, thanks to suggestions by a few of you guys on episode 48 of Warfronts. So I like the place that this show is, I like the place that the show is going, and I'm really, really enjoying myself. So what does that mean going forward? I mean, in terms of how I continue the show into the future, to episode 60, episode 70, episode 80, well, that's all a big question mark, and you guys know that. I talk about that frequently. Uh, I don't know how much longer I can maintain a subscription to Rift. Uh, that's just purely monetary. Uh, I am cheap. This is what I am. I am an extremely frugal person. And to that end, everything that I put money out for in my life must justify its existence. And Rift is no different now that I'm no longer making that TGN money. I have to think about how exactly I am benefiting from my Rift subscription. And I do subscribe in three month chunks, so I don't have to do that analysis very often, uh, just, you know, four times a year. And, and I've recently done that, and I've, I've come down on the side of continuing to subscribe to Rift. And that's going to be a question that's going to be asked every time that the uh, subscription comes up. And that's something that you guys are aware of. And it's something you should be doing in your own life. If the game is not offering you enough to keep you interested, then you should be moving on to other things. There's no reason to continue to play this game out of some sort of a sense of obligation, either to yourself, your guildmates, or in my case, to an audience 
who watches uh, me on the internet. You know, a few hundred people watch my show, and I think that's great. But at the same time, if I'm not enjoying myself, there's really not much worth watching now, is there? So what I'm going to do as I move forward is keep you guys in the loop about that kind of stuff. What's my thinking? As my subscription comes up in the next two or three months, I'm going to talk to you guys as a community. How do you guys feel? Are you still enjoying the show? Is there something? Is this something I should be continuing forward with? You know, we're going to kind of just keep checking in. Like, where are we going? Because I do foresee, I foresee a cap to the usefulness of this show. I, I do believe that I am quickly approaching my skill cap when it comes to level 50 PvP. There are certain things in life that one can do well, and there are certain things that one may not be able to do as well. And what I'm, I think, learning is that my offensive PvP is sort of not that great. I am a support character by nature. You see me here feeling very at home, playing a support character, doing very well, you know, and, and I think I always do well as a support character and I don't struggle to do well, whether I'm playing this or I'm playing uh, Super Monday Night Combat, whether I am playing even League of Legends, I tend to play uh, healers and support characters in League of Legends. I mean, everywhere I go, I tend to gravitate towards support and to healing. And uh, so, you know, there's there are things to explore at level 50. Of course, there's a Chloromancer build, which I plan to explore. But that's the, that's the main thing. You know, there's going to be a point where this show no longer makes sense to continue uh, with production. And I don't think that time is any, any day soon. And maybe the show can morph, it can change, it can adapt. But in its current form as a tool for learning... Uh, there's only so much more I can show you guys. Now, you can show me a lot, and if the community continues to want to coach me and doesn't find it lame to watch a show of a guy who sucks and then tell that guy how to be better, well, then we can keep doing this until the end of time. And that's the main thing that I want to make sure to focus on. I want to make sure that you guys are having a good time. Is it worth it to continue forward? Should we change the format? Should it become more interactive? Can I maybe have some of you guys come on and, like, actually analyze a video with me over Skype or some such internet talking program. Uh, these are all things that I've been thinking about and things that I would really like to do. So I appreciate any feedback you guys want to give me on this, the 50th episode of Warfronts. Uh, again, actually, we started with episode zero. So technically, this is episode 51, but eh, who really cares? You know, whatever. So I think that's really going to do it. You're seeing our great come from behind victory here. On, uh, on the codex, and that is, uh, in, of course, in part due to holding the codex. Uh, I'm not going to say that I am uh, totally responsible for the healing that's going on up here because I do have uh, I do have a companion up here who is also healing, and we are both doing a great job at healing. You know, someone in the comments there says, Unreal healing, good job, and I have to check. I've got a little bit of an ego, have to check those stats. Yeah, that's right, I'm on top of the boards. That's, that's right, you know, I'm a bard. Not, a, not a, a total dedicated healer. I'm a support class, but I'm playing it right, and I am able to uh, actually maintain my top-of-the-chart status. I know that in this particular bracket, the bard is overpowered, so I'm not actually getting a big EP about this. I'm just saying, hey, I'm doing my job, and that makes me feel good. And that's why when I feel like I'm not doing a great job on my DPS mage, I start to get down in the dumps. Like I feel like I'm not contributing. Here in this instance, I feel like I'm really contributing to my team here. I'm keeping many people alive. I'm helping us to hold this point. And that's the sort of stuff that I really, really love to do. So, is there much more to talk about in terms of episode 50 or in terms of this actual game? I don't really think so. I just want to humbly and totally, from the bottom of my absolute dark black heart, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching all of these episodes of Warfronts, thank you for being supportive of lower skilled players, as I am one, and I've created a show that is intended to help us, the lower skilled, actually uh, get a little bit better. So I do hope that you guys will, will hang around for the ride. I do appreciate everything that you've given to me, and I appreciate this victory here in the Codex. And I do manage to come out on top on healing, doing my job and feeling good about it, right? You gotta love it. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. This has been the 50th episode of Warfronts. I do hope that I will see more of you going on and on into the future. And until next time, take it easy.